guest, a Canada comedian from Nebraska. He can be seen at the Funny Bone in St. Louis, Missouri, April 25th through the 29th, and at the Funny Bone in Omaha, Nebraska, May 23rd through the 27th. Apparently he signed some sort of lifetime Funny Bone deal. Please welcome the very funny Mark Gross! <laughs> Thank you very much, gang. It's uh, great to be here. My, uh, I love Los Angeles. My wife and I recently moved here from Nebraska. And, uh, yeah, I was a fan of my wife's out there. Nice to have you. <laughs> Things are a bit different here in Los Angeles than they are back in the Midwest. For example, I went to a video store the other day, and I saw a blind man renting a porno movie. <laughs> wow. There's a guy that likes crappy music. And my neighbor is a crackhead. Now, folks, you say what you want about the crackheads, but when they're hard up for a fix, they are good workers. <laughs> yeah. This guy raked my entire yard with a fork in 11 minutes. <laughs> Gotta look out for yourselves nowadays, these lowlifes running the streets, you know. A couple days ago, I was crossing a bridge. There was a guy standing there with a cup in his hand. He goes, hey. Can you help out my wife and family? And I said, sure. And I pushed him off the bridge. <laughs> oh, had a late night last night, gang. I was, uh, went out last night. Actually, I don't remember too much of last night, but I do remember this. If you're playing strip poker with a bunch of waitresses from Denny's, and you win, you lose. <laughs> I enjoy being a man. Dog is man's best friend. And diamonds are a girl's best friend. And you know what? That's fine with me. So what the hell kind of a friend is a diamond? <laughs> if you throw up on the carpet, is your diamond gonna eat it for you? <laughs> If you rub peanut butter all over your naked body. Actually, never mind that one. That was a bad example. I uh, know what I was thinking on that one. I am a bad example. Then my wife wants to have kids with me. I don't think that's a good idea. If you're going to have kids, I think he should be a noble man. He's led a good life. He has a lot of good advice to pass on to his children. See, I have pretty much wasted my life up until this point. I'm not going to say it, you know. Boy, sit down. It's time we had a talk. Son, a lap dance is a poor investment. <laughs> now go get him, tiger. <laughs> Everybody's full of bad advice. Bad love advice, that's the worst, isn't it? Everybody's an authority on love these days. These stupid books out. Men are from Mars, men are from Venus. <laughs> Shut up. I tell you, a good authority is on love is the Roadrunner cartoon bird. There's a great philosophy, man. Things get a little rough. Beep, beep. <laughs> we need to have a talk about us. Beep, beep. <laughs> hey. Things could always be worse, you know. Like I remember this one time I was sitting in this VD clinic. It's not funny. <laughs> I had this big yellow poster on the wall. It said, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. You think this funny little poster is making anyone feel any better in this waiting room? <laughs> if you're in this waiting room, life didn't give you lemons. <laughs> apparently, apparently you're supposed to make crab cakes. He'll be at Funny Bones the rest of his life, ladies and gentlemen. Right back right after this. Good job.